to welcome, I'm sorry, I'm Kevin Watkins, I'm director here at ODI. And it's a huge privilege for us actually to host this event. I think a lot of you will know the work that we do here on climate change in, in areas of looking at, it, at issues like resilience, adaptation, which are really central to the discussion that you're, you're going to be having here. Um, I mean, may, maybe just a couple of remarks on, on my side that I, I think the paper that's going to be presented and the dialogue really goes to the heart of what is one of the, the, the core social justice issues which is raised by climate change, which is the distribution of risk around the world from, the, uh, from, from climate change effects and the distribution of capacity to respond to that risk. And I, I, I think what we've seen very clearly from the evidence is an increase in the number of extreme climate events around the world each year. What, what I think gets less comprehensively tracked are the small shifts in incremental risk <coughs> that face so many millions of small producers or people living in urban slums around the world. You know, the, these aren't events like typhoons or major floods, but they might be events like slight delays in, in rainfall, slight temperature shifts which can dramatically affect the germination of crops. And I, I think there are a couple of other things that we know from the evidence from uh, researchers here um, and elsewhere, that the people in the world who are facing the gravest risks, the most intensive risks, are the least equipped to, to respond. They're the least insured. They have the most limited assets. They have the most restricted alternative livelihood opportunities. And, and I think that's why these, the, 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 these questions of adaptation and, and the issues of how we build resilience is, is so pivotal. You know, you can't help but be struck by the billions that are spent on risk management in countries like this, you know, the Thames barrier up the road or through the Federal Emergency Agency in, in the United States and the resources available to poor people in poor countries. So uh, I'm, I'm very glad that we're hosting this discussion. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the debate. I, kn I know several of our team members, including Tom Mitchell, is going to be is going to be participating online in the discussion, and, and others are, are here in this room. So I, I wish you a, a, an interesting and constructive debate, and very much look forward to the presentations. Yeah. Kevin, thank, thank you, you very much for being with us. Um,